No, then. You gotta keep the water at a consistent temperature to avoid staining the clothing. Hmm? Why am I a master of laundry, you ask? Because my parents practically beat it into me. <laughs> Any noble who can't wash his own clothes isn't worth the fabric he wears, or something to that effect. I had to learn all about all the different materials. In hindsight, I think they were trying to teach me not to take advantage of my title, wisdom that still serves me to this day. The more time that passes, the more I understand how great my parents were. Alright, how much MP do I get from this? Anything good? My max MP increased. I got three. Huh? Okay, not amazing, but I mean, MP is MP. After drying everything thoroughly, we finished the laundry. The gauntlet runner arrives at the desert camp as the scorching sun sinks below the horizon and the curtain of night falls over the land. Protected within the stalwart hull of the gauntlet runner, the party gains a short, peaceful respite. Desert camp. At night, the vast wilderness outside town is ensconed in darkness, forcing your way through the unmarked ter terrain is dangerous. Instead, establish camp somewhere safe. You can resume your travels the next morning. While in the encampment, you can use facilities, but you can also reminisce about the journey with your allies. Give it a try. Kind of excited, but it'll be a long night, so why not spend some time relaxing with someone? Ooh. Up stroll. Hey. I get some imagination from this. Hey, give me some imagination here. No, man. So next up is Martira. It feels like just yesterday when I first arrived in the royal capital. So much has happened in such a short span of time. I met you, we went over to the Northern Fortress and awakened a mysterious power. I had once thought magic like this only existed in heroic tales of times long past. Speaking of. Speaking of which, I've been thinking that perhaps this is the same power that Hero Kings once used. If that's the case, then why do you think so many of them met miserable ends? They probably had no allies. Maybe they lacked allies. I see. Try as they might, even the strongest king wouldn't be able to establish a country by himself. Perhaps it's not a matter of how much power you have, but how much you choose to wield it. Moreover, we got more than one power at our disposal, and on top of that, we got allies who share these abilities as well. Mm. If we continue to master these archetypes, then maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to surpass the great hero kings of old. Though all this does make me wonder just how many more of these powers are still out there. Right. Let's go! More imagination. Still not at rank 2 yet. Come now, it's too early for bed. Let's talk some more. I'm all about talking. Dude, Stroll, Stroll is such Time a cool dude. On, and the Hulkenberg's also pretty good. Draws nearer. Got me interested in Hulkenberg and Stroll so far. Good morning. Top of the morning to you, my dear passengers. I trust that the sleeping quarters more than exceeded your expectations. True. Hey, we're better than I feared, considering how tiny they are, but I've got a question of my own. Isn't the Desert Sand gonna do a number on this runner? <laughs> my boy, remember who maintains this rugged girl? Nary a grain of sand could fit between her seams, I assure you. Regardless, we'll be leaving these arid dunes behind tomorrow. I knew it. Wow, runners really are neat, aren't they? A carriage would never be able to get through the desert this fast, but uh, just keep an eye on the road, okay, Nerus? <laughs> Oh, it's my birthday. Did anyone get me a birthday gift? Or cake? I will let it slide if you got me my cake of choice. Gives me wisdom, and this is more... Rich, I think? Hey. Let's see. Well, let's do something with Hulkenberg, because we, because we did something with Stroll last night. Even if I could use the courage more. All right. I imagine getting all the virtues to max won't be too difficult. Maybe. If so. Yo, we're playing chess? If that's how you plan to make your advance then. Can't make any more moves. That's the match, man. She beat me. Maya learned quite a bit from that match. I believe we would both benefit from continued practice. This game affords me the opportunity to visualize strategies all my own. What if an enemy came at me from such an angle? How would I retaliate? So on and so forth. 
I'd say. I once failed in my duty to protect His Highness the Prince. At that time, I was but a novice, a new addition to the Royal Garden. I liked the experience needed to properly assume That's the role. Why. It is for that reason that I now train both my body and mind so thoroughly, as I have vowed to never let such a thing occur once again. We're strong. No. I'm nothing of the sort. My body bears the scars of my myriad weaknesses. That said, tis quite the pleasure to speak so freely with you. I find comfort in knowing that I may share my feelings with a compatriot. If we find success in this endeavor and create a country where all can truly live equally, I hope to serve as a knight captain, passing down what knowledge I can to a new generation. I'll speak not just of my tactics, but all of the experiences on this journey, my victories, and of course my failures too. In doing so, I would see the Royal Guards elevated to new heights, I hope. That's a great plan. Well, yes. Well, should such a starry-eyed wish come true, I shall tell them much of you, our captain. Such a position is certainly not one most could adapt to, much less succeed in, given the circumstances of our fight. And I must say, you were you wear the role well. Tis hard to believe it's the first foray into such a responsibility, after you have a natural talent for it. <laughs> oh, to call it talent is at the service. No, whatever higher ground you higher calling you have, I can only be as I am now because of you. Hey, you honor me. True. It was you and Galica that set the cogs of the journey in motion. I think there's some significance to you being the captain, in my humble opinion. You have my gratitude. After crossing proverbial swords with you, I feel that I'm one step closer to realizing my dream. More wisdom. All right. Bitrate's doing good, by the way. If only I knew about that option in Streamlabs, like, way sooner. All right. I had the exact same issue in the Symphonia stream. Now then, shall we continue our discussion on tactics? There were some blunders you can avoid next time. For example, when a piece moves here, you should... Hulkenberg and I dwelled on the board for a while. Dueled on the board, not dwelled. Dwell will be a W. I say, uh, we could stop for a break. There's something up ahead, so we'll be stopping here. Coming now into can I fight something? The tree of prophecy. A resplendent tapestry of color against the backdrop of the bleak desert. One theory is that the tree's roots gorge on the land's magma. And still another is that it gorges on those enraptured by its colorful foliage. As though themselves snared by the bewitching magma surrounding the tree, the gauntlet runner comes to a stop at its base. Definitely feel like I'm playing a Persona game with like the long stretches of cutscenes without any gameplay. Like in today's stream, for example. Here we are. Shall we get a closer look? The Tree of Prophecy. Wow. It's so pretty. Yes. It's not just the leaves. It's as though the whole area has been painted red. Certainly. This place calls to mind the picture book I read as a child. It told of a great tree located somewhere within the country, whose color shifted to foretell unusual events in the times ahead. How exactly would a tree foretell the future, and how does a plant grow this huge in the middle of a desert? Mm. I'm not sure if this explains it, but I'm sensing an incredible amount of magla in the air here. Mm. If your hypothesis is correct, that would make this no mere tree, no sir, but a magical organism that feeds off of magla. As a matter of scientific research, I must document this discovery. Neres pulled a sheet of paper and brushed from his pocket and began to draw the landscape in front of him. Hey. Wow, Neres, how'd you get so good at drawing? Ah, my boy, meticulous documentation is the foundation of all good research. There you have it. I'm finished here. Take it as a keepsake. But... I thought you needed this for research. All the pertinent information I need has been etched into my very mind. I can make do without the sketch itself. Tree of Prophecy drawn. Hey there. Hey, why don't we give that to Maria? I bet she'd love to see something from our journey and we could tell her a story about this place. Next time we're in Grand Track, she give it to Maria. Huh, a magical organism in the form of a tree? Say, aren't fairies in the same classification? Precisely, Galica's the most precious treasure as well. I've been observing her very closely, which has given me great insight into my own research into flight. Really? Precious? Huh? I mean, Galica's fine, but precious treasure? What, you've been observing me this whole time? I don't recall you asking, so knock it off. However, Turning our attention back to the tree, I've heard that it tints itself blue to herald the arrival of favorable developments. I wonder what manner of anomaly its current color portends. I got more wisdom. Wisdom is just my highest stat. Okay, 
Okay, there are five ranks because the very point has like a little diamond thing there. Sealed by boulders, as darkness reclaims the wilderness for itself, monsters run rampant in the wilds. To sleep here would be perilous, unless from within the safety of a gauntlet runner. The party, secure in their gauntlet runner, spends the night in peace, hidden from hungry gazes. Man, what a solid birthday. We visited a really pretty looking tree. What more could I ask for? <sighs> we'll be in Martyra the day after tomorrow, so two days. I wonder what kind of place Martyra is. Yep. Apparently you can eat these bugs, well, according to Hulkenberg anyway. Ugh. Should try and catch one. Umi bee? Oh, we did get that gold beetle, whatever that means. Uh, imagination with Hulkenberg. I want to see. Can I go inside and do the other stuff? Should be able to. I wonder if I just want more MP here. Building up MP would be pretty great. We could just cook a meal. Yeah, let's just cook. Should we? No, I just get this for an item. Deals 300 almighty damage to one enemy. <laughs> There's no way. Black bread just does almighty damage down here this is for wisdom or not wisdom this is for um what is over here wait i think it just told me oh it's eloquence do you think i can use i think i need to every stat i want to try to get something to level two and my best bet is probably courage imagination or eloquence or tolerance is really close which I think I do get from cooking. At least you do from Fabienne's restaurant. Maybe I should cook. Give me another corny Let's roast. No, man. For as often as we simply refer to our meals as meat, something to keep in mind is where it's cut from. The taste and texture can ch change dramatically, you know? Each type of cut has an ideal preparation, and if you do it well, it turns out tender and delicious. Something to strive for, Speaking wouldn't you of. say? So what kind of cut do we have here? Ah, uh, but never mind, you just leave this to me. Hmm. Watch your meat and adjust the heat so it goes, although it depends on what your preference is, really. It's nearly time. No, it is time. Strike now. All right. Yes, not bad so far. See the juices there? There's your proof. This is turning out delicious. We'll add a little something for the aroma and we're done, but just a little, or it'll overshadow the flavor. Amazing, Stroll and I made a delicious looking dish cooked to perfection. <laughs> it's curative coney roast. Smells great, doesn't it? Now imagine how it tastes. Eh, I got the roast. I'll take it. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. So bumpy. That'd be the change in terrain, lad. <sighs> See, you've got to let the suspensions get used to hard ground instead of soft sand. <sighs> Must be nice to fly everywhere. <laughs> what the? Did we just crash? Of course not. That's a. A cannonade. <laughs> them. Remember, from the opening ceremony, I think one of them is Guido, Forden's confidant, and the other is Luis's man, Gladell. Prominent candidates. Shouldn't the king's magic petrify them for their aggression? No, see where they're aiming. They're not shooting to kill, just to take out the opposing runner's legs. 
Doesn't seem like they're trying to land a fatal shot, just aiming to break the opposing side's gauntlet runner. Stuck out in the wilds with no working runner. Will they survive or not? They're dashed well out of the race. Salt is a clash to hold each other's advance. Damn fools couldn't resist a show of force. Look, over by the legs. That crier is there too. I see. Acting as witness to the higher candidate's conflict. It seems Gladell cannot match Gadel's firepower. Our plan hinges on winning Luis's favor. Can we afford to abandon Gladell if he's one of Luis's supporters? What's our plan? If we just hang back and watch, Gadell's gonna win. And Borden gets a leg up on the competition. Let's give Gladell a hand here. Good thinking. That way, we could win Luis's regards. Agreed. Let us ride to Gladell's aid. I say, hold on! You realize you're a no-name candidate, eh? If he wants to shut you out, he'll not have to aim for just our legs. It's a runner, isn't it? If things get too dicey, we'll just run. Didn't you say we had the fastest craft around? Uh, fine. Suppose there's no room for caution if we want the world's eyes on us. Okay, then, it's settled. Let's make sure he owes us big. There should be an external runner boat out there. We're here to help. Withdraw, Gladell. Who goes there? Why do you stand for Luis's forces? Well, um, sorry. Can't get into it now. That gauntlet runner. You're that commoner candidate who destroyed the Grand Cathedral. Was that not enough? You would profane the sacred a second time. So be it. In God's name, be thou punished. Yeah, you will be a law route in an SMT game. Gado and his monks have boarded the deck. Looks like he knows the magic won't shield us. He's aiming to kill us here and now. Oh, nice! I get the fight. Well, an hour and forty. Don't know your place. How dare you cut me off? You thought by confronting me, you might lift your own names. Then you chose the wrong opponent. I hate to interrupt, old egg, but it's a touch more complex than that. We of the Crown Theocracy's monk army have silenced all who would oppose the eminence of God. Your petty ruses are beneath me. Now you shall know how powerless you truly are. Remember, the King's magic means we cannot move to strike Godot himself. Go for his followers first. We'll thin their numbers and turn the tide. Go, my brethren. Put the fear of God into these impious commoners. Oh, you foolish fool. I am not afraid of God. I've slayed many gods in my day, uh, Hama. Anyway, as I was saying, only only took hour and 40 minutes to get into a fight today. Get a warrior. Easy crit. Did you do this? He resists his slash. How dare he? I guess punch works. I don't have any, like, ice or anything. Probably this is going to be the play. He do puts on the cocky smirk. Now. Take this. Get him. I will I did so much. That was like as much as the crit. Oh, power of heroes to the rear guard, mate. Oh, mystic fire. Oh, it's what don't you resist? Won't hold back. Better be sure. Oh, I guess I'm whiffing out one of these. This should work. Let's do this. What could you, How do you guys resist everything but punch? Okay, so we need to have what's his face heal. That really sucks, actually. No, not this. After me. 
Not the right move. You guys resist slash though, so like. Wait, do you guys resist different things? Oh, you do. I see. So you might not resist magic. No holding back. Well, I'm willing to try this. Okay. So maybe magic works on you? Okay. I see what they were going with now. This may also be like a scripted fight of some kind. Maybe I'm not supposed to win this. Maybe just kill the followers. Helpful as ever. 